This is Mr. Beck does your homework. This is physics, homework number four. These, this is question one and two, a two-part question. First part says, the position time, the position versus time for a certain object moving along the x-axis is shown. The object initial position is negative four meters, so it's starting at negative four meters. It asks, find the instantaneous velocity at six and a half seconds. So six and a half seconds would be right here. How do I find the velocity of this one point? Well, it turns out that the velocity right there, well, I don't know how much it's rising right there and how much it's running right there to find the slope of this, because I know that the slope is the velocity. Conveniently, any straight line it has a constant slope, so it has a constant velocity. So instead of trying to find something out about that point, if I want the instantaneous velocity at six and a half seconds, what I really should do is find the slope of this whole line segment from here to here. Well, I start at a position of five seconds and let's see, two, three, four, so that would be three. So I'm gonna start at point five comma three, x, y, and I'm gonna move on to point eight and this is going to be negative four, negative six, that's negative five. So my other one is eight comma negative five. So this is my x, y, x, y. I know the slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1 is going to be negative five minus three over x2 minus x1 is eight minus five. So in my case, I've got negative eight divided by three. Um, and that's going to give me some number for the slope. Calculate that. Don't try to put in a fraction. Now, the other way to look at that is that along this, uh, along this line segment, my velocity is changing with respect to time. So my position changes at, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is a change of 8. My rise is negative 8 meters, and it does that in five, six, seven, eight in three seconds. So it's basically the same thing. So this tells me that my change in position in a change in time, so my change in position over some amount of time is going to be negative eight meters in uh, three seconds, which is gonna give me some number of meters per second. So that's the same. So the slope is the velocity. And that's the slope there, and it's the slope there, and it's the slope there along that whole line segment. The next part of this question asks, find the average velocity over the whole time shown. Well, average velocity, my average velocity, is going to be my total change in position over my total amount of time that has gone by. Well, my total change in position is going to be x minus x0 over my uh, time, the amount of total amount of time, since I'm going from a time of 0. Well, my final position is right here, and my final position is positive 2. So that's going to be 2 minus my initial position here is negative 4. So 2 minus minus 4. And the amount of time that passed was a total of 9 seconds. So 2 minus minus 4 is 2 plus 4, so I'm going to get 6 over 9, and that will give me some amount of time sorry, some amount of uh, meters divided by some amount of seconds, six over nine is gonna give me so many meters per second, and that is my velocity. So that is also equal to the slope of the line segment connecting these two points. So it's rise over run, the slope of this line will give me my average velocity over the whole time shown.